This videotape does not supersede labeling of the device. It is intended as an adjunct for educational purposes only. By the conversations all I had with Mubarak with and methadone with King Hussein, and there's no money to be made. Uh, Mr. Salah, all of whom I consider I want to be here with of the United Janek States. Show. And uh, all of them because who I are believe that we can treat Arab successfully the question, these uh, working diligently are, behind the scenes uh, to uh, come to an agreement uh, that would satisfy this country that we have a problem because everyone says, man, like the chief said, if we could end this in one day, it'd be great. You know, but I don't want to get really involved for a year or two because it's a Chief, the problem here is, is that uh, they result in, your suggestion is in excellent. A, uh, so by the time it gets to the police of point of view, by the time it gets into the police realm, or the treatment Saddam is already gone too far. It has to be treated before that. The region, it has to be treated uh, in, in, in the home, it has to be treated in the kindergarten, and it has to be treated along that I whole line to you. stop it. it has is to be he going enough. to be a constant source of, of problems there in, in, in that region? If he behaves this way, he's going to be a constant source. And we find his behavior... Uh, intolerable in this instance and so to the rest of the, in the United Nations countries that met uh, last night and reaction from around the world they get three meals is, a day is yet when they return to their home what do they so go that back to itself. a rundown <laughs> building <laughs> no heat no yeah, hot a lot of people have lived in a rundown <laughs> building without taking drugs I took this it morning by executive to the people, order again okay uh, we are know, the source back, we can help one off, another uh, okay and how we can do that is if you like in my situation we have a street problem how does the fact that well, they for two reasons. Have First of all, I can't hire a bodyguard for my protection. Why do you need a bodyguard? Because I see dealers every single day in the streets. But so does Laura. Yes, but I confront them more than she does. Okay, she has a job. I'm home practically all day. Okay, I go in the hallways. They come in the hallways of the building and they deal with the drugs and I see them. They do, they do. I call 1-800-922-1911 or save COD charges and send us twenty four ninety five for four albums or three cassettes or twenty four ninety five for three cassettes. Where and when were you plus born? Plus $4 shipping and handling to My name Motown, is 30th Anniversary, of Box 214, Orchard Park, New York. I was born or call 1-800-922-1911. January 1st, 1685. You know you can get two years for disrespecting the law. Texas the largest country in the United States. Oh, my country offers you congratulations yes, from Mac for the courageous stand you've taken. You have fallen. No longer will you be alone. Mac is sending you an entire squadron of our finest boys to back you up. We'll have them right up in your front lawn, right next to those crazy animals. $99 a month new truck. Parts and service open Saturday. Whatever the connection, there is no doubt that teenage satanic activity in this country is increasing dramatically. In Maine, a dozen churches were defaced with satanic symbols. In California, New Jersey, Alabama, and elsewhere, police have found inverted crosses and the remains of mutilated animals. But by far the most frightening of all are the reports of teenagers killing other kids in Satan's name. Item Douglas County, Georgia. When you hear some of these stories that he has not related to you life in prison, I'm sorry for you, and I wish you good luck. Perhaps it'll turn you into we don't do so. Remove her from the court of my chair. The police and we can't 17 year old Melissa Ernest to take care of every damn of rumble that goes on in our neighborhood. We're going to have to do it, and we're going to have to do it. Dancing around her still warm body. Now, listen to this report from a small town in Maine. Yesterday's conviction of Scott Waterhouse for the murder of 12 year old Giselle Cody may finally bring an end to talk of a satanic cult in the town. Item Long Island, New York. Police arrest 17 year old Ricky Casso for the ritual murder of 15 year old Gary Lauer. Casso gouged out his models, victim's and we've eyes. To come together As we've to seen, the level of violence in these crimes committed in Satan's name is often Thank appalling and savage, brutal enough to shock Thank even hard tortured his mother with his Boy Scout knife. The murder took place in the basement of the Sullivan family home. Tommy died uh, as brutally as his mother did, but at his own hands. What did the boys, his classmates, I think I'm the basically started out like the, the killing of animals, then there's always the heavy metal music and 
Drugs no help. The boy deceived was 19-year-old Stephen Newberry, who then took the first of some 70 blows as his classmates swung their baseball bats. You hit him. Give me a nine. I'm gonna kill myself. I know it. Yeah, I can see it now. Girls die skating. A lot. Serious? The devil double crossed. The kids can be flying off my feet. I can't get it anyway. It is so normal. Good-looking kid, a kid that you would assume had everything going for him, had everything to live for. And yet he kills Steve Newberg. The first time you heard that your son had committed this literally diabolical act, did you believe it? Yes, but I was mad at him because I knew that he knew right from wrong. Pete, do you think that you with him for a long time and I asked him how he could kill a friend and he told me that he had no regard for his life he had no regard for Stephen's life and Stephen was involved in this also he said he knew Stephen had no regard for life or his own life so it seemed as if it didn't you make really any knew difference around you, aren't you? yeah Pete is that can that be true that a death a murder Oh, didn't course. make a difference? Uh, it really didn't to me because I, I considered thoughts of suicide myself. No. I just, <laughs> I, so. I felt like he was me in a way because he had some of the same beliefs as me and he was kind of like me. <laughs> if I didn't care about myself, I wouldn't get to really care about somebody else that was like me. And the, and the kid that started it all, the kid that got you involved in this, was the president of your senior class? Yes. What was so seductive? Uh, it's the sense of like a um, machoism or something. Make me feel big, uh, like a king in a sense, how, how he'd feel over all his servants. Pete, how do you feel now? <clears throat> Well, I, I really don't feel too good. Yep, the Dairy Queen Chicken Filet Baskets on sale. Juicy chicken filet strips and all the fixings on sale now, just $2.99. The Chicken Filet Baskets are on sale. Better round up your whole food. This is DQ Country. So, what do you think? I think we've got a case. There are certain rules about boys. Based on Hall v. Murphy, 1969. Paralegals play a vital role in law offices and corporations. In fact, they handle virtually everything short of courtroom conversations. Good job. Good job. We can train you for an exciting career as a paralegal. Call Career Institute today at 529 Your woman is So call today. The events that shape our lives can happen. Those stories. Forever news happens. NBC Nightly News at 5.30 and Channel 2 News at 6 and 10. When Houston needs to know, it turns to NBC Nightly News and Channel 2 News. We have been truly terrorized. There have been great many murders From of top officials. The young most prominent, of course, was the Prime killers. Minister. Aldo Moro, right. former Prime Minister and respected statesman, became the catalyst to fight back after he was kidnapped by terrorists and brutally murdered. If terrorists can capture and kill a Prime Minister, then no one is safe. So the I want to ask both of you, let me start, Sean, with you. During the commission of the homicide, particularly the, the murder of your parents, 
did you feel, uh, you know, this uh, perverse religious feeling, this satanic fulfillment as you committed this act? Was it, uh, uh, you know, in, in light of what you said earlier in terms of good being evil, evil being good, did you feel a sense of accomplishment, achievement, consummation? How did you feel? It took a while before I ever really remembered what happened during the night with my parents. Seized. I and think uh, I blocked it out or something. I don't know what happened, but it, I had to come they here shaken, before but I remembered they rose that. To the occasion and the things that I remember gave me nightmares for a year. When I killed my parents, I stood over the bodies. I watched the blood pour from the hole in my mother's face and I laughed. I giggled as evilly hysterically uh, as you'd see someone in the movies. Involved. I felt like this such a relief had come upon country. me. And I see myself doing that time and time again, and it wakes me up at night, it just, it haunts me that I could have been the person that did that. Pete, you used a baseball oh, bat to batter Elsewhere, Newberry. England mounted its own counter-terrorist assault. Did you feel a sense of satanic when fulfillment? The embassy was seized. Did Satan uh, say, uh, bless you, boy, you have uh, done my plans. evil doing England my is evil considered one of the world's most spectacular no, counter-terrorist like triumphs. More of a frame. Like something else was taken over. I just, it was just like a feeling of go, go, go. I really can't describe it. I guess you have to be me to really understand the feelings because it's an indescribable feeling. And But afterwards, I felt like something had left me inside. Like I said before, I, I felt real empty, real scared, and freaked out. But not sorry? Thank God for President Reagan who took a stand in Granada and who let the communist world I, know that we met this I can't even describe the feeling. Tremendous forces well, around the world in uh, South Korea and other places. Well, you're, you're and it's because of these military men that we're seeing what we're now seeing. The communist structure, I believe, is going to begin well, to crumble. A million students... I wasn't thinking really about getting caught or being sorry. I was just wondering what was the going on. The rise is on and they're against... Congress we're joined here by Dr. Herbert Nyberg. He's the co-chairman of the Cult Awareness Task Force of the Mental Asia, Health Association of Westchester County here in suburban New York. He claims, interestingly enough, shockingly enough, that fully 50% of his private practice is now related to the cult. That's it. Yeah. 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 Your action, now! You were frightened about being caught, but you didn't feel a sense of remorse. That you just beat See if I can get these names straight. George Bellow, former drug addict. Well, right. Evelyn Bellow. I wasn't thinking really about getting Nobody caught or being what sorry. I was just Families wondering what was going on. Families of addicted children today. Families of addicted children today. All right? We're joined here and by, by home Dr. Herbert Nyberg. One, I think He's the co-chairman uh, of the Cult Claire Awareness Turner? Task Force of the Mental that? Health Richard Association of Westchester County, suburban New York. He claims... Hey, you guys. Interestingly enough, yeah. shockingly enough, Anthony, that Richard, fully 50% thanks, George first. of his private practice is now related to cults, including these so devil recovering. worshippers. You're still an addict, am I right? Yeah. Why are the kids getting, getting involved in, in this violent, um, in this destructive, really young. in this, how, uh, how young this really? vile and evil Eight stuff? Old. Why? I think who gave you the, the answer has been given on the previous special and tonight also, and I think the the common thread is the word power. There seems to be a, a perceived need for power. There seems to be secondary gain and, and gratification that comes from that power. The scary thing is that if you look at the two gentlemen on the, on the screen, these are the two gentlemen that had the power. We all say to ourselves, how could they do it? They had everything going, yet the perception on their part and many others is that they're not powerful enough. Take a look at the two guys. Take a look at Pete and Sean. I, like I mean, doesn't it look like two yearbook photos? 
of the captain of the football team and the president of the student smoking council? Such a smoking cigarette. I mean, that's not then when I talk to them and ask them if they smoke uh, dope, that's not yeah, they do, but not very like often. That, that's okay, you know. Uh, real, real double standards here. Evelyn, you are one of the founders, one of the originators, one of the members of FACT, all right, as you explain this with that acronym. It's not often, uh, I guess, we have a mother and son at the same time. Tell me you're, you're about the type hell of young people. Drug you know, these people say. focus on your middle to upper class, well, well educated. Um, uh, it is ones hell. That's looking, that, looking that's for the first something. Thing. Let me tell them, let me read I this clip from uh, the Washington Post. A lot of guilt. The day Takes on responsibility. Election day. Where I mean, I did I go wrong? Yeah, when did you find this, out uh, it was this phenomenon is not as June widespread 6, as we 1986. Say it. I can remember um, the day well. How old two kids um, from fourth, fashionable you live in your mom's house? area. Yes. Spend much time Wheaton, now? Maryland. They go into Rock yes. Creek no, Park. No, no. Eat your meals there. Video. Yes. Sleep there. The news yes. reports. Sometimes do your homework there. Uh, Nicole. Never did homework. Never did homework. Never, ever, ever, ever. Who got into a so satanic thing. So until 14 years old, thing. he didn't know he's a drug addict, and yet he was next to us that he was Rock once Creek since the age of eight. That's six years passed by. Because How they got so into devil not? worship. I guess I was blind, and it wasn't going to happen in my family. They used a spare set of keys and I live in a nice area, and to go into like Marsha's parents' vault. Because I didn't expose my son. Any telltale signs that made you suspicious automatic. of anything? If I look back now, I see them, but I was he living through a... committed suicide, one, and the other one... Um, First murdered I the other the two 13 year old girls into devil worship. This is the week of the national elections Just in an affluent so suburb of our nation's capital. Guy. This you're stuff is out there. We'll it is everywhere in this country. You're a former it is affecting guy. and influencing I'm teenagers. Who are How old were you when you started on drugs? Ten. Particularly vulnerable. Ten years ago. We'll deal more with the whys of this. Four years ago. And hear from now the real experts for 22 years. Marijuana? Had a present. started out sniffing glue. We'll be right back. Sniffing glue. I remember when I was <laughs> And uh, what did you do? Did you give you a big hot? Why don't you come out of row number two and come on up here with old Morty Baby? Huh? This is Kevin, his dad, Randy, huh? okay, his mom, Lord. Kevin got involved in Satanism. As far as I know, you have not been involved in criminal activity. At least up until this point. Let me ask you. Know, let's, yeah. Hey, let's sit down. Now, here. I want let's, you to just help. Relax. Let's just relax, Pete all right? And Sean What's your name? Anywhere. I want to go through Kevin? a list of things, Kevin? and you tell me if they help get you involved. Jose. In, Jose. Uh, I don't in have a brother, Jose, but drugs, I guess you're my brother, and I guess you're my brother, too, right? Yes, Pete. You on drugs, pal? No. Have you ever taken any drugs? No. Nope. Ever had any alcohol? Nope. How about you, Jose? What, were you stoned all day long? I mean, was that typical? You're scary. You're in Young man yeah, pretty much all day long. Booze. I get stoned at least young every day. At the age of eight, two years younger than you. I really didn't feel like it had the marijuana leading drugs. up to what happened. And here they are. Was right he now. stoned most of the time? Recovering. Then? At a young age, not a lot of guys recover. Was. You couldn't this tell. Do you think knows. you could have? A lot of guys now in retrospect. Do you think you should? Body have. bags. No. Angel dust. Methadone, no, heroin. I, I honestly crack. didn't see it, and I looked. You ever seen any drugs? I mean, I looked at the. You know, the people through the eyes and... Well, they're being in the see. building smoking all that. Sean, how about in your in case? The building smoking pot? Well, I got into uh, drugs they after I got involved in Satanism. Nope. I think that's really major... How about you? Uh, really what you ever see any, Jose, any drugs? Is, uh, yeah. Kids get involved in Satanism see? and the drugs follow the satanic scene, so they get in drugs. How do you know it's drugs? Kevin, were you involved in that? How do you know it's drugs, Jose? Maybe they be taking like... Those stems that they don't even have, they don't even say, excuse me, they just keep on smoking. Tear the baby out of your womb and stomp on it for fun, I mean, crap like that. I mean, were you into the heavy metal scene? Phenomenal species of animal that we can laugh at our own demise. And we do, and I guess we have to laugh at it because, hell, we're killing ourselves. We're killing young Every men day. like this. We're giving them an opportunity to what see that we are a bunch of sleazeballs that we don't know how to police ourselves or do anything. Well, God Almighty, if we can't save ourselves, let's save these guys, all right? Now, does anyone want legalized drugs? And who were your favorites? Megadeth and Slayer, Merciful Fate, Metallica. You know, the... Uh... The defenders uh, of the record of business and of these groups say the First Amendment protects them from saying they, anything they want the to, players as obviously here. they we can. Have Dana Beal in the middle. Do you We've say all met here today Dana, that what's that the name of your organization? Coalition for 100% an Drug Reform. An influence Coalition on you in getting involved 100% Drug Reform. Sounds good, right? Why? How? How did it, how did it Then we have uh, Francis Peretta. 
just like you I ever said before. Ever popular Libertarian Party that just says listen to the music all the time. The government says you know, you every day for a couple it. hours. It, it puts because thoughts in in your mind. Specifically, Pete, what Luke thought Dahmer. did this stuff put in We're your mind? By Lots of people, people listen to it. A lot of people don't go out and do what you did. Police, a 37-year police uh, veteran. Let me start I'm with Francis first. Right? Don't hide behind your Velcro face. Okay, Get Pete. Down, heavy metal music. Wait. Brooks like the heavy, heavy no, stuff. Wait, 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 I want to hear old Velcro lips. Ollie North's on trial. He was directly connected with the Iran-Contra scandal with bringing a huge amount of cocaine to the United States. And they had to carry from the hearing that dealt with it. Asked Ramon Millian Rodriguez doing 45 yeah, years much. in the federal pen right now. Tell me, what was your typical was listening the inauguration habits. of President Ronald Reagan? Maybe about four hours a day. You don't day. go through two and a half right. million people. You people never want to deal with that. You, you want to deal with small-scale dealers on the street and say to the guys at the top. Well, in my You don't car, care about the guys at the top. You don't care about, about the guys at the top because the guys at the top are the same we guys on who are you running. Care. No, you don't because we those are the same guys who are the ones that are running this system. We care about a guy country. like Ali North. You know, the, uh, the defenders uh, of the records business and of these groups say the First Amendment protects them and they can sing anything they want to as obviously they can. Do you say here today that that stuff had an influencing and influence on you in getting involved in demolition? Yes. How did it affect me? You don't see the Acme name. I want to hear from the parents. We've got to not getting Acme quality. Ask your builder for Acme brick. But they may also give you a print that looks like this. It's about time that all you people realize this is not a really good basketball game. If you have a child under three who seems slow in developing, call the Texas Early Childhood Intervention Program. 89 Corsco Beretta, sticker over 12, you pay under 8 at 79. Why pay the difference when you can't tell the difference? Landmark GM, company car alley, 9111. I want to get to uh, Randy and Lori. I'm just curious, uh, Pete, is Mike Wines your attorney sitting alongside you? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, could you widen out the camera? Let me just say hello to Mike a second. Mike, when we hear that Pete is facing life without possibility of parole, is that what it sounds like? I mean, is he in there for the rest of his natural life? Well, in Missouri, uh, it means exactly what it says. Uh, uh, right now, Pete has been sentenced to life without parole, uh, which means that... I'm glad to hear that. And you stop. Lori? You have some Kevin's tolerance. notebooks. Kevin, Brilliant I understand, did far more serious and, uh, kinds of mutilation to himself, aside now, from the, what we uh, see here. Obviously, this is his... This is what we found before we took him to the hospital. The this, always look at this. It says, uh, Lucifer, In my master. Of the country, and it has very the inverted very cross. Spoken of. In others, uh, Leviathan, not so well treated or Lucifer, that's Satan. Guardian angels have cleaned up all a lot of names. Uh, Sean, what steps did the same with the... What steps the I see what I did. And so I've had a lot of people talk to me, and I can see life. that they're doing what I did. Darling. They see all this stuff. They see the albums. They see the symbols. They ask a question, and they wait until they get the answer that they want to hear. And that is, it's nothing. And then, right. And I think it's because, you know, if, if you admit it's something, then you've got to do something, and you don't know what to do. So when he says it's nothing, I For low-down payments, easy payment plans, and a no...